Sadie, I really can't. I must come. He's my husband. I know he's your husband, but it's going to be. Well, it's going to be violent. I can handle myself just fine. I'm coming. Like I said, ain't happening. You got a boy. I insist. Insist all you like. Ain't happening. Arthur, tell her. Tell her what? She ain't coming with us to collect her husband. I... Abigail, you ain't coming. That's the end of the matter. See, there you heard him. Now let's go. But... But nothing. It'll be quicker and easier with just the two of us. Plus, John will be calmer without worrying about you. Ain't complicated. Well, why well, ain't the crime sort, but I'm real grateful. Yeah, we know you are. We'll bring him back to you. Thank you. Thank you both. All right, here goes nothing. The place is surrounded by marshland. Should hopefully give us a bit of cover to move in close enough to find a spot and look for John. This time of day, prisoners will probably be working the fields. Then all we gotta do is take out all the guards and row our way out of there. Seems simple enough. Uh, how many times, Marston? Bring us over. <gasps> we good? Uh -huh. Let's head for that watchtower. Okay. Stay low. There's a guard up there. I'll deal with him. Okay. I'll follow you up. Okay, come on up. All right, where's John? Hey, I think I see him. There's a group in front of that barn just to our right. Oh, yeah. I see two guards. Okay, take them out, and let's go get our boy. Oh. Wait, shit! I don't think that was John. Well, let's go over there and see. Okay, come on. I think one of those guards was still moving. Arthur, let's keep moving. Where is he? You see him? No. You, <laughs> mister. You know John Marsden? I, he ain't, he ain't working today. Put the gun down, lady. No. You put the gun down. Now. <laughs> Where's John Marston? Uh, he ain't in the work detail today. Okay, well, I guess we'll go oh, and get him oh, together. Uh, Try anything, I'll blow your damn head off. You clear on that? Yes, very clear. 
Oh, no, you don't. Come on, partner. <clears throat> Hey, why don't you apologize to the lady for pointing a gun at her? Excuse me? I said apologize. I'm sorry, ma'am. Ain't no harm done. So, where do we go? Towards the entrance, I guess. And who's in charge of this fine establishment? Jameson, sir. Jameson who? No, Mr. Jameson. Heston Jameson. Uh, is he a nice fella? Uh, he's been quite an exacting boss at times. I look forward to meeting him. They're... they're not gonna let you do this. Well, that's gonna be up to you, my friend. Shit. No. So, you a popular employee, my friend? Not especially. Well, I guess we're about to find out. Come on, march him straight up to the front gate. You better hope someone in there actually gives a damn about this fool. Guess we'll see. We're gonna have to shoot our way out of here regardless. Lower your guns! Down. Come on. Okay, friend, be cool now. Just do as I say. Put the weapons down now. Jameson! Is Jameson in? He's in South Denis. They got Milliken. Got him and gonna kill him. Unless you bring me John Marston. Right now. You got one minute. I'm counting. One, two, three. Um, uh, Milliken, <laughs> is it? Yes, sir. Will you count for me? I got talking to do. Uh, yes, sir. Of course, sir. <clears throat> From one or four, Oh, sir? very funny. Now, we must be at 11 by now. 11, 12, 13, now, faster. 14, 15. Now hurry up! Well, this poor fool's gonna get his brain shot out. And over what? For nothing. Hey, Milliken, don't stop counting. I can't hear you. Now hurry up and bring that asshole out here, you bastards. Come on! Don't cry, buddy. I don't wanna die. Yeah, I know, I know. Hey, hey, John. Hello, you too. Now, no funny business. Well, Mr. Mannequin here will stop crying once and for all. Okay. Today's your lucky day. Let's go. <laughs> Let's clear these and make a run for
Let's go. More behind us. Find some cover. Stay down. I'm hey, you with that. Stop it. Drop your weapons now. We got no way out of here. We gotta move. How we getting out of here? We got a boat. This way. Follow me. Get down! Hold them off so we can get to the boat! Seems to need rescuing, Marston. Uh, nice to see you, Arthur. Ah, uh, there's some fellas coming here. Don't look too friendly. We best get out of here. Come on, boys. Let's move. I'll roll. You shoot. Seriously? Let me. You, you're a better shot. All right, fine. You just relax and enjoy yourself, John. Leave the real work to them as can still handle it. Thanks. Keep them off us. One night. Or we will gun you You regretting this yet? Thanks for the hospitality, boy! I think I liked you better when you was all trussed up like a prize chicken. No doubt. Oh, hurry up. They're going to be on our tails soon enough if you boys keep wasting time. Oh, that's us told them. Ugh. Hey, Arthur. Thank you. Don't mention it. Let's go. They should get out of here quick before the law gets wind of this. So what the hell happened in San Denis? Is Abigail all right? She's fine. Jack is too. She managed to escape when they got Hosea. Hosea? That still don't seem real somehow. All them years. Arthur, he was like, like family. Yeah, we lost young Lenny, too. No. What a goddamn mess. And then we... What about the, the money? Lost somewhere at the bottom of the ocean. What? How the hell did that happen? We hit on a boat. It was the only way out of there. The boat went down in a storm, and we ended up stranded on an island somewhere near Cuba. Cuba? Wait, you're gonna have to tell me all this again. It's a long story, but things ain't been good, John. <laughs> you're telling me. We're holed up now in the mountains to the north, near Roanoke Ridge, and some caves there. The Pinkertons caught up with us again, and we had to move. Yeah, seems Molly ratted us out, the bitch. So she's dead, too. Jesus! Maybe you should have just left me to hang. And uh, I should warn you, Dutch didn't want us breaking you out. Said it wasn't the right time, so might not be the hero's welcome you're imagining. So much for no man left behind. I can't stop thinking about this. In the bank, when they grabbed me, he saw it. Felt almost like he had a, a moment to do something and didn't. The Dutch ain't himself right now. Or maybe he just ain't who we thought he was. 
Guess we don't need to worry about who's his favorite no more. Huh. Guess not. you we would. John! What are you doing here? It's good to see you too, partner. I meant I hadn't sent for you yet. I will. But I said that. Yeah, I know what you said. I felt different. Is that so? Yes. And when Spring and John brings the law down on all of us, what then? Arthur, well, I guess we'll have another fight on our hands. Loyalty, Arthur, it ain't. I had a goddamn plan! John! John, you are my brother. You are my son. I was coming for you. They... They was talking of hanging me, Dutch. They was talking. They was talking. And now they may come and hang us all. Away, thinking of, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Dutch said to tell you he and Mike have gone to Annisburg. Something about Mr. Cornwall. Cornwall. Okay. Thanks, Mary Beth. My lady. Hey, Arthur. It's gonna be all right. I feel like a prisoner here. We won't be here for too long. We just need an escape plan. All right, then. <laughs> yes, Arthur. Well, at least he's back. Thank you for getting him out, Arthur. Of course. Someone had to. Well, I should get back to it. Uh-huh. Has anyone seen Kane? Where's Kane? Miss Grimshaw, have you seen Kane? No, son, sorry I haven't. I'm sure he'll turn up, though. He's a wanderer. I'm really worried. King! Come on! King! King! I'm sure he'll turn up. He's been gone a while. I did what had to be done. I know you did. I'm not saying anything. Okay. No real reason. Making trouble for those who deserve it always seemed reason enough for Dutch. <laughs> man, he sure cares who he's fighting. Mr. Morgan, you don't look very well. Uh, I'm not, Reverend. <coughs> I fear now, I'm pretty sick. About now, I'm so huh? sorry. You, you seem crazy. well, on the other hand. Yes, son. Uh, I've stopped all that silly business. I think I'm okay. Well, that's wonderful news. <laughs> How? I don't know. I met a Catholic lady, a nun, and we prayed, and it was lifted. The curse was lifted. Good. I can't believe it. Really, I can't. All those years I was with a brain inside your head. You know, 
You'll get what's coming to you. You really don't see any of this, do you? Get away from me, you traitor. He's too dumb to see it for how it is. He's loyal. I'll give him that. Loyal and stupid. Okay, well, let's talk more later. Mm-hmm. Susan! Hello. Arthur. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, he ain't done yet, Abigail. Dutch seems... To have lost his mind? I know. Just be careful. I don't have to be careful. I... I have you as a friend. Okay, I'll catch you later, then. Uh-huh. Hey, ain't much joy around this campfire. How are you holding up? I'm bad. <laughs> Trying to drink it off. <laughs> Hey there, Tilly. Arthur. You okay? All this whispering and walking on eggshells, I hate it. Always good to see you. Hey, Arthur. You seen Mikey and Dutch's ear the whole time? Yeah. He's been stirring up stuff about you and John. Oh, don't worry. I can still get through the Dutch. Okay, Arthur. Not exactly a welcome home party. Well, you warned me. I'll fill you in some more later. All right, well, I should be getting on. All right then, Arthur. Reverend? Arthur, my boy! Glad to see you've got your act together at last. I am trying. At least something good's come out of this. Certainly. Alright. Hey there. Things happen. Bill. Hey. Hi. So I can see all this is hitting you hard. Don't you try and sidle up to me. I ain't. We've been friends a long time. Okay. You might want to start thinking about where you'll go next. No, no. I ain't about to give up on this. All right. All I said was... Start thinking. Can I talk to you a second? Sure. I'm just so worried about Karen, Arthur. Why? You know why. She's gonna kill herself when she hits the liquor. Sure, but... But I guess that's her choice. <sighs> I'll try speaking with her. Thanks, Arthur. I'll try to. But... We both know it won't work. Hey there. Hi. How are you holding up? Okay. You? You don't look so good. I'll be fine. Just worry about you and Jack. I guess. Anyway, I won't disturb you. Okay. Mr. Swanson. How are you holding up? I feel I should be asking you that. I'll be fine. Don't worry about me. Be well. Morning. That's it. I can use the company. Really feels like it's splitting into two sides here. I know. Well, just keep your ear to the ground. Take care. Hey, Javier. Good morning, Arthur. Can we talk? I don't have much to say to you right now. No. 
Guess I'll leave you to it then. Sure, Arthur. Garrett! Poor Garrett. Morning, Arthur. I'm worried about you. Oh, not you too. Leave me alone, all of you. Okay. Just checking. Yeah, yeah. If it ain't Mr. Trelawney. Hello, Arthur. Sit down. Well, I'm surprised you're still around. I'm worried about you all. Well, thanks for sticking by us. How far we've fallen. The Golden Boy. Have a seat. Any news? Nothing you don't already know. Okay, well, keep me posted. Be strong. There he is. Hey. Hard to believe it's come to this. We gotta stay behind Dutch. That's the only way. Hey, that's why we're all here. Whatever you say. There she is. <sighs> Another beaver hollow morning. What do you think we should do about Dutch? He has a lot of pressure on him. Don't forget all he's done for you. I ain't forgotten a thing. Yes, Arthur. Hey, Charles. Let's hope for a better day. It's good to know you're still with me, at least. Of course, Arthur. Hey, Arthur. You want to talk? You okay, Arthur? Sure. You don't look okay. Uh, I'm fine. What you been doing? <sighs> Acting like a fool. How so? <sighs> Hurting and robbing folks I didn't need to. My, you have been busy. <laughs> well, that's one way of looking at it. You're a good man, Arthur. Underneath, I mean. I've lost my mind, Mary Beth. It finally happened. I, I don't feel in control. Just stay calm and do what you do best. It seems I'm best in mayhem. Sure, I'm no better than Micah. Yes, you are. Just do what you gotta do and stop getting into trouble. <clears throat> we'll see.